there is absolutely no, no question at all that humans are causing climate change. Ryan Kramer is a research scientist with NASA. He's our first expert source, and it's his job to study climate models and satellite observations. I take satellite data and I analyze it to study energy balances in the atmosphere, changes in precipitation and moisture in the atmosphere to try and understand climate change. Through his research, Ryan has seen firsthand how humans are contributing to climate change. Since the Industrial Revolution, we see temperatures increasing. We've been monitoring carbon dioxide in the atmosphere directly since the 1950s. That's increasing. We have satellite information that tells us it's changing. We know that what's going on right now is unprecedented, and we know it's being caused by humans. Here's how we know. It's all about our greenhouse gas emissions. As we add more greenhouse gases to the atmosphere, they're trapping energy from leaving and escaping out to space, right? So instead of escaping out to space, that energy is being returned down to the surface and warming the planet. Most activities that humans partake in have some sort of effect on the climate. This is a 2019 report of direct greenhouse gas emissions across different industries from the Environmental Protection Agency. As you can see, power plants are responsible for nearly nine times more greenhouse gas emissions than any other sector. Both the Potomac and the Anacostia River are tidal rivers, meaning that they rise with the ocean tides. And as a result, D.C. rivers have risen about 11 inches over the past century. Combine that with the fact that the district is actually slowly sinking, the future is bleak for so many historic landmarks and crucial roadways unless we take action now. All these important locations, the National Mall underwater, Reagan National Airport underwater, essentially inundated with water all the time. Our next expert source is Dan Goldberg, an assistant research professor at the Milken Institute School of Public Health. Dan studies air pollution levels. Anytime we combust a fuel, be that gasoline, coal, wood, we mostly are uh, emitting carbon dioxide and water, but in addition to that, we are uh, emitting uh, nitrogen oxides as well, and nitrogen oxides are quite toxic to human health. Dan says as we get more energy efficient, things are heading in the right direction, but slowly. Solar and wind energy are price competitive with fossil fuels. That wasn't the case 10, 15 years ago. I'm really optimistic that we can we can get somewhere in the next next decade or two if we really make concerted effort to transition to some of these cleaner fuels. So we can verify, yes, our experts say humans are responsible for contributing to climate change through greenhouse gas emissions. 